It's time for babbling broke. Babbling broke. Hey! Sit and listen to some babbling broke. Hey! Guess what, world? Life's not fair, never has been, never will be. So you just need to get the fuck over it and do the best you can with what you have. Holy shit, wouldn't it be awesome if we could just broadcast something like that to the world and all of a sudden, boom, light bulbs all over the world going on. Holy shit, she might be right. I guess I'm just going to have to, you know, do my absolute best with what I have and quit bitching that everything isn't fucking fair all the time. But instead, the left, what they do is they implement policies to try to make things more fair for minorities and marginalized groups, which actually, in fact, make things much less fair for everybody. Hmm. So what's got me kind of on this topic is that today is show day. I love show day. Yay. Anyways, any of y'all are in the Hot Springs, Arkansas area, All American Freak Show, Peep Show, tonight at Maxine's in downtown Hot Springs. Door date, show at nine, ten dollars at the door. Awesome show, you guys will absolutely love it. Anyways, so it's show day and I'm, you know, running around the house because besides costuming and makeup and props and shit, we also have like a full curtained booth that my husband built that he, you know, actually builds and tears down and brings home every show. So I just got a lot of stuff that I have to make sure that I have, you know, packed up and ready to go. So I'm running around getting everything together for the show and uh, YouTube's on in the background and I'm listening to Joe Rogan's podcast. Now on this podcast, he is, he was interviewing James Damore and uh, for those of you who don't know, James Damore is the poor guy who was recently fired from Google because of the memo he wrote that was harmful. <laughs> to certain groups or whatever and apparently just broke the heart of the, you know, CEO or the um, executive at YouTube, whatever. <clears throat> Anyways, essentially he was fired for telling the truth about bio biological differences between men and women, which you can't do these days because political correctness doesn't allow us to tell the truth about anything anymore. <clears throat> so, <laughs> you know, they're, I'm listening to the podcast and they're discussing how, you know, for how Asian students have to get higher test scores than, you know, other minorities, even though they're a minority, because, you know, in general, you know, the ethic, the work ethic is different in Asian families. You know, they came here to, you know, build something for the American dream, and they are, teach their children to work hard and actually get good grades and go for those things. And, you know, they're genetically just probably, you know, smarter. They're probably predisposed genetically to being smarter. And that's the thing. <clears throat> what it all boils down, life is not fair. Some people are smarter. Some people are stronger. Some people have athletic ability. Some people are more attractive. Some people are thinner. Some people... People are... Not to say that, you know, you know, you should just be fat, but people are genetically different, period. We're born differently. We, you know, we, <laughs> so we're all born different and some of us have natural abilities that others don't. Some of us are naturally more intelligent. It's just, yes, hard work will get you somewhere, but life is not fair because sometimes no matter how hard you work, if you're, if you're not smart enough to understand or, you know, to grasp a concept, like, I'm, fuck, you talk to me about, about physics and shit, I, I would never, never succeed, <laughs> no fucking, clue. I'm horrible at shit like that, I'm not great at math, you know, I mean, there's so much, and it drives me absolutely insane, because I remember when I was a kid, when I would say, this isn't fair, or anything I bitched about, my mom would always say, well, no one said life was fair, Brookie. I mean, and that was just it, period. End of argument. No one said life was fair. And she's right. <clears throat> I tell my kids all the time, life's not fair. It's just not. And, but do the best with what you have. 
do every with every single thing you do in life you do excel at it even if you're doing something you fucking hate to do do a good job because you know you're putting essentially you're putting your personal signature on everything you do and every action you take and if you only put effort into those things that you enjoy then you know you're really kind of a fucktard because you know, you know any job and when was the last time you heard anybody say any job worth doing is worth doing well? I haven't heard that forever. Now, <laughs> so they're talking about, you know, they're, they're discussing how life's not fair and, you know, how, and I, it just made me think, no one really says that anymore. I don't hear that very often. I don't hear parents telling their kids that. <clears throat> I don't hear anyone really telling children or other people life's not fair. You know, just pointing out, hey, life's not fair. Get over it. <laughs> you know? Shit. And the fucked up thing is we've gone so far to, like, the Fifi's and we have to have this many Asians and this many black people and this many women and blah, blah, blah in different corporations. Shit and bullshit, like affirmative action, all that stuff. You know, um, like a black kid only having to get uh, this score, but an Asian kid has to get at least this score for them to be considered the same. It's... Not, it, it is, it's, you're making policies that are specifically extremely unfair in the pursuit of trying to make life more fair. Does anybody else see how fucking retarded this is? And the pendulum has swung so far one way towards fifis and inclusion and diversity and blah, blah, blah. And the only way, honestly, I think the best way to get us back to reality would be if <clears throat> when you filled out college applications, job applications, etc., shit like that. When you filled out those things, I don't think the hiring managers should be able to look at the uh, the sex of the person, the ethnicity of the person. I don't even think that person's name should be on there. I think it should be strictly merit based. Period. Period. Here, look, this is this person's test scores. Here's what their extra, you know, here's their volunteer work, blah, 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 for college. Oh, look, here's this person's career experience. Here's their educational experience. Here's this for jobs. You will have, and the person hiring would have no idea what the person's name was, so there's no hint whatsoever at what their ethnicity or gender is. They wouldn't have their name. They wouldn't have their sex. They wouldn't have their ethnicity. They were literally, you would not be able to discriminate based on sex, race, etc., because the person doing the hiring would have no fucking clue about any of that. Who's with me? So all of this reminded me of something that happened a few months back at my job that I couldn't really talk about then because <clears throat> it would, you know, everybody knew who was involved and, you know, I didn't want to get in trouble. Good news is I don't work there anymore. So <laughs> I got pneumonia, missed too many days in a row, lost my job on my one year anniversary. So fuck you very much. You know who you are. Still not going to mention the company or the names, but let me tell you what happened. <clears throat> there was an Asian man, <clears throat> one of our absolutely best managers. He was one of like probably three managers in the entire center. And I mean, th this center employs like 350 people, right? He was maybe one of three supervisors who went out of their way to help the employees. Like if the, ma the managers are supposed to, they are expected that if there's an escalation, like a call that they demand to speak to a manager, a manager has to take that call. If they are not doing something you know, if they're not either in a coaching or they're, you know, coaching one of their employees or if they're not already on a phone call, they are suppo they're required, supposed to be required to take that call. Maybe three of them do. Tops, right? Th this place is totally fucked hard backwards. Anyways, <clears throat> so one of our, I mean, he was one of three good managers we had, you know, three or four. And <laughs> he, Asian man, Great his job, great guy, went on vacation. <clears throat> while, his, while he was on vacation, during that period of time that he was on vacation, he had a callback that he was supposed to do. He was supposed to call back a customer. So he sent an email to another manager who worked that same shift 
asking if she could do the callback for him since he wasn't going to be there. Now he has, he even still, he kept the email because she responded. She said yes, she took responsibility to do that callback for him. Now this is a black woman, right? Another manager who's a black woman. <clears throat> Let me say this. Nobody wants to be on this woman's team. She's mean. She is, she never smiles at anybody. She's not personable at all. <clears throat> people, there's nothing but complaints about people, you know, from people who are actually on her team. And, <clears throat> I mean, it's just ridiculous. So she says, yes, I will do that callback for you while you're out of town. So the callback didn't get done while he was on vacation. The day he came back from vacation, he got fucking fired because that callback wasn't done. The Asian man got fired. The Asian manager who was great at his fucking job lost his job because the black woman who accepted responsibility for this one thing failed to fucking do it. But nobody's going to fuck with her because she is an angry black woman who is definitely the type that would pull the race card so she has fucking job security. It is bullshit. It is complete and total fucking bullshit. And this kind of shit happens all the fucking time. All the time. It's like now that, oh my god, it just makes me absolutely fucking insane. It, it's, it's stupid. It is completely stupid. I honestly feel that in, you know, in hiring practices, the only way to get as fair as fucking possible for as far as being, you know, getting into school, go, getting into schools, being hired for a job is to have is for the person hiring to have no clue what ethnicity gender anything except that person's work and career experience i don't think it's right i i think it's so fucking wrong and it that really bothers me because we would have to in order for that to even be possible we would literally have to put some kind of like government mandate in place, you know, just like the mandate that they already have saying that, you know, it's illegal to discriminate on the basis of sex, gender, ethnicity, sexuality, etc. <clears throat> we would have to actually put, and I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm against more regulation, obviously, because I'm for smaller government. But the thing is, we would, in this case, we would actually have to put more regulation in place, which sucks just because people have so little fucking common sense and they're so my fifis and diversity and blah 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 and life has to be fucking fair for everybody and equality of outcome not equality of opportunity this stuff is fucking insane people it's fucking insane it is absolutely bad shit crazy and it makes no sense at all at all in order to get things honestly honestly as fucking fair as we can we would have to have that person hiring and the company hiring to have no knowledge of any of that stuff. Any of it. And that would require more, you know, more government regulation, which I'm not for. But shit, what the fuck? I mean, the pendulum's gone so far the opposite way. And look at this poor guy. And, and I see this poor James Damore, this guy, this poor guy. I feel horrible for him. It's like, I really hope that you know, that he's, I guess there's some kind of lawsuit. And I think that, you know, I, I really think that Google should get nailed with this one. I really do, because I think it is absolute crap. And I think that I, and I also think that the Asian manager that got fired from my ex-employer should sue the hell out of them. I really do. And I think the only reason that he isn't or didn't is either because you know he doesn't want to deal with the whole oh you're racist blah 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 i mean nobody really should have gotten fired it was one fucking stupid callback i mean yes we're required to do them but a mistake like this nobody if somebody had to lose their job it should have been the person who accepted responsibility to do that job it, it, am i wrong am i way out of whack am i fucking crazy People honestly tell me. Tell me if I'm just losing my mind or what. <sighs> Anyways, sorry, I just really had to vent about this because it's just, it's absolutely driving me insane and it, how fucking backwards everything is is making me crazy. But 
<sighs> I love you guys. I'm going to go get ready for the show, and I will see y'all later. Mwah.